All right, welcome back to the Wild Oklahoma. And we are picking back up on the Washita Trail, and we're gonna pick up where we left off last year, which is at Queen Wilhelmina State Park Lodge. And I don't know if you can see it in the background. It's, it's very foggy and misty out right now. So probably gonna get a little wet today, but our goal today is we're gonna try to get about six or seven miles in on the trail kind of a I guess we'll call this a bonus um, tomorrow we'll consider our full start of our first full day but we're gonna do a little bit of a bonus today and we'll see how far we get we're shooting for around 70 miles probably between 70 and 85 miles this over the course of this next week so. all right let's go It is May 16th and definitely the trail is growing up. I'm sure it'll just get worse going into June. There is a lot of poison ivy. It kind of just comes in patches, so that's good. It wasn't just solid poison ivy, but you do have to make efforts to avoid it. And then you'll go for a good ways and not have any. So we'll see if that gets any worse as we progress on the trail here. All right, we're at the 54 mile marker. And of course we're using the, the Far Out app as well, which will, those numbers will agree with these mile markers. And at the moment, we've, we've been doing a lot of pretty decent downhill, and now we've switched to a slightly aggressive uphill. I know that never shows up on camera, but we're basically going up at a decent grade right here. Uh, I think it's about 65 degrees. It's been raining pretty much the whole time, but we're, we're pretty much under the canopy, so soaking wet but it doesn't just feel like pouring down rain on you so it's very humid not real hot still foggy out in the distance not really much for views we are doing good on water a little bit of a water cache right here on the trail we're doing plenty well so before we left, I told Michaela and CJ it'd probably be good to have some pants to bring on trail. I think Michaela has some, CJ does not. But I think they wish they would have brought some now. All the poison ivy we've trekked through. And then now we just went through a patch of stinging nettles. And uh, they're in a lot of pain back there. They're hurting. So. I used to get in on them a lot when I was younger. We'd, we'd rub, rub red clay on them and it would take the sting away really quickly. There's not really any red clay around here, but I, I did tell Michaela to rub some mud on it.
we are crossing Highway 59 here at about mile marker 56.7. So that's the first we've seen of the sky since we started the trail earlier. We were out in the open earlier on the road, but there was too much fog. We really couldn't see the open area. Okay, just dropped that dork. We made it up here to Black Fort Mountain Shelter right at dark time. It's probably about a 10 minute walk off the trail, but I think we did okay. We did right at about 6.8 miles. We started at, I think it was about 5 p.m. and right now it is 820 so it's not too bad i think we made okay time so we'll get settled in here eat us a sandwich get our camp set up <laughs> 